Hello there, man. Welcome back with another freaking CS tutorial type video. Sorry for punching my mic and giving you ear rapes, but as you know, in many other games, customizing crosshairs is a thing. Not all games, but you know, decent games like Counter-Strike, Valorant. But you might say, is this even possible editing like crosshairs in 1.6? Getting like custom crosshair? Actually, yes, it is possible. You might have heard of the crosshair utility called Freya. I don't know if I even want to call it a utility, but yeah, sadly, uh, Freya has viruses and that's why i kind of like stopped using it for the viewers that have seen me playing with freya custom crosshair thingy by the way about custom crosshairs i'll leave links on my discord server for steam and non-steam users so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you how it is but before that i just want to warn you if you really want to use this cs make sure you make a backup of your like cfg of your main cfg that you use on your cs and also make a backup of the servers that you play because in this cs all the servers that you play will be deleted even in steam cs if you're also willing to play it on steam so yeah let, let me just get down to it so now in here this is how it will be for non-steam users you will be greeted up with this setup and you're going to install it and when it's done and these are basically the files shout out to the russian developer i don't know the russian developer or anything so he has done all of the jobs about the cs so yeah this is how it is for non-steam users basically same thing for steam but i'll show you i'll show you though so yeah this is it for non-steam users you have CS Strike, CS Strike HD, CS Strike Russian. If you don't need if you don't speak Russian or just don't want this folder at all, you can delete it. Same for Steam users as well, which I will show you later on. So yeah, you'll be greeted up with this. It's a batch file. You can also just right click and edit it and you can see how it's being run off. Because I think you can just run it with like from this batch file but i don't really need to because i'm i play on steam and it's kind of a little more easier and not complicated than this so yeah, this is pretty much about it for now on steam and the and yeah you can also just go on on the website in here like i believe developers website also when you install it in the end of the installation there will be like like a option if you just want to go to the developers website but that's up to you anyways so this is it about non-steam so in steam i've just like prepared it like like it's basically the same thing but i've just made it so it can actually like work on steam so like the difference between this is i've removed like a couple of things like most of the things i've gotten from here but I've just removed a couple of things like the bash file, this type of shortcut, this as well, I think this as well. I'm gonna just let you see, bro. They're like, it's pretty much it. And I've removed this Russian as well, the Russian folder. So yeah, for Steam users, you're, you're like um, going to add this, like, just go on your CS file location, then Half Life. Then just straight up in here. Also, I've left this so you can just not add inside CS, CS Strike folder. So all you have to do is just add this straight here. Like just grab everything, select everything from here, and just paste it right into like Half Life folder, which is basically CS 1.6 and Half Life together combined. So now I will show you how it looks like in game itself with these. So yeah, this this is by the way for Steam and non-Steam users. So, so this is how the options look like. By the way, I, I have a custom like uh, black color UI, you might call it. I don't know how you can call it, but yeah, it's kind of customized. I can leave like 
I can also leave a link for this on my Discord server for this color. Also, same goes for here. Now, in here, when you like use CS both for Steam and on Steam, you will be greeted up with Russian servers. And in here, I've just added some servers that I play. So yeah, kind of pretty much about here. So yeah, let's go back to the settings. So this is how it will look like. And uh, for Steam users, it will like the avatar, it will be like linked up automatically with your Steam account, of course. And as you can see, my Steam profile picture, name here, player name in game. And this is the set info password like thingy. If you have like VIP or admins in CS servers, and as you can see in here, this is the uh, crosshair thingy. Now in here you can just edit the crosshair however you, you like it. It might look like weird, but you, you'll get used to it. Because if you use AK, the crosshair, it will look like a little bit different. And especially if you use pistols, it will look like way a little bit different. I think it looks like more smaller when using like primary weapons like AK, M4 etc etc you know the rest so yeah in here you have mouse not much the same audio you have here as well video account i think this is the russians like website like account i think i believe so this is how it works i don't know just that's how i think of it and system i have no idea here you can use like legacy font I don't know, I, I have it on for no apparent reason. So I'm gonna just show you how it look, how the crosser looks like in game now. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see it on this type of resolution, like the crosser. But this is how it looks like. It's way more smaller than the default one, especially if you use Deagle. But these are the settings that I'm running with. So yeah, as, as I said, for you it might be different. Shut the fuck up, stupid ass bot. And as you can see, the kill feed on my right side is completely different than from the normal kill feed. And yeah, you can also like, as I said, change colors in here. Like however you see best, you can just go with custom. You can just go click here. You can, you, you can also use dot, T shape. You can choose type of crosshair style. I mean, this is how it is in here. But yeah, these are the settings that I'm actually running my game right now. So thanks for watching the video, man, and peace.